Welcome to Good Mythical More. I'm so glad you made it. We are going to discover all the all the weird things that McDonald's doesn't want you to know, including the things that our writers made up. But first, we're going to donate $1,000 to 350.org to aid in their mission to end the age of fossil fuels and build a world of community-led renewable energy for all. Please join us in giving at 350.org slash donate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Stevie, you ever had a McGriddle? Come to think of it, I don't believe I have. What? Because... You should. I, when I've gotten breakfast at McDonald's, I've always gotten a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Well, those aren't even good. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're not good. I David don't, Hill just went, yes. Don't, don't, don't. About me. Don't do not about I don't, me. I don't know if you would, I think you would, yeah, I don't know if you What would. do you mean those aren't even good? I don't, I don't like the, isn't there just an English muffin? They're not muffin? known for their biscuits, I'll tell you that. But have you had one of their biscuits? Yeah. Well, yeah. Probably mm-hmm. on this show. Have you ever had uh, the full breakfast with the pancakes? And no. Eggs? My kids used to get that on. My the time. dad would get that. Like for some reason, when we were traveling, it was the only time. When you like, when you were traveling? That's that's strange, man. No. Yeah, like because you sit in the back. You know, like, yeah, on, it's a lap on a road trip. Oh, but you have we, to go. We go in, but he's like, we need a good breakfast. We yeah, need a full okay. breakfast. <laughs> McDonald's has got a good square of breakfast. And there's the bigger one for and a the reasonable one. price. Huh. So it I'm loving it. Styrofoam. I'm loving it is strange but true, and I'm bluffing it is strange and not true. I get I, it. I'm also I also always go bacon and I never go well, I never go sausage. Their sausage mm-hmm. is yeah. good. It's but very for real, I always go you. bacon. The sausage yeah. is better than the bacon, honestly. Oh, really? I think so. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yes. I the, the the bacon McGriddle. Not even a thing to me. Oh uh, well, don't say foolish things. I mean, it's, I, it's I never still, order it. It's really good, but if you know that the sausage one exists, it's just not as good. All right. When Grimace, the character, first debuted, he actually had six arms. He was. Mm-mm. There is something about Grimace, but that ain't it. He was a sextopus. When he first came out. But then he went into rehab. Well, okay, so. Extra limbs scared the children. It's fake. But. But. Yeah. When Grimace first debuted in 1971, he did have four arms. <laughs> oh. And was known as Evil Grimace. What? But he terrified children so much that they canceled out the bottom arms. What? Well, we were told that he was a taste bud. He, I, yeah. Somebody said Grimace was a taste bud, and I took that to heart when I heard that. I believed it. First appeared in 1971-72, McDonaldland Specification Manual. In 73, all of the characters were redesigned. Okay, we got that from the Instagram caption. May not be true, but let's say it is. Man. Uh, okay, so when I put is Grimace into Google, it populates a taste bud immediately. Great. Um, and? But it seems like it's a long standing rumor that they haven't mm, fully disputed. Yeah, because who's got a purple tongue? And what are his other two arms doing? Are they like oh. going into his own stomach? He's trying to rip himself open. Like, yeah, he's like, is he trying to rip himself open? I have a taste bud. I must see what's inside of me. Hit us. In 2006, the British Hedgehog Preservation Society oh, successfully lobbied McDonald's to change the McFlurry lid design because hedgehogs kept getting stuck inside of them. Do you remember what the design was? Because, I mean, now it's a, like a... It's a, like a, a dome with a hole on top. Well, that's what it was like, too. And those hedgehogs, well, they love to stick head, their heads in domes. It sounds like something that would be made up kind of like ocean creatures get caught up in the You think that's not true? In the, no, I, I don't think it's true, yes. I don't think it's true. You don't think that ocean creatures get caught in six-pack things? 
from Kansas? No, I believe that's true. I believe it inspired this lie related to hedgehogs. Oh, I think it's true. I definitely think it's true. And I think we're going to get to see a picture of a dead hedgehog <laughs> just choking on it. It's true. All right, um, show us the picture. There's no there's no photo, but hedgehogs, dead hedgehog. I guess, are um, Google it. rampant. Can you search in, dead, in... choked hedgehog <laughs> McFlurry pre-2006? Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, we're seeing it. There it is. Freaking hedgehogs oh, in McFlurry list. Poor lids. guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's like a yeah, it's like a vet cone. You're exactly right. I mean, and listen, if I had a hedgehog society, this would be one of the main things that we were talking about. Poor buddy. To be honest with you, right, right behind Sonic. Okay. You know, and we'd be mad at Sonic for not letting us be the mascot yet for the restaurant. You know, but there's um, licensing issues with that, I guess. Donald's <laughs> doesn't have a grooming line, do they? Oh, nice, yeah. I, Stevie. I want to talk. Thank you, Stevie. I want to talk about the grooming line because it's um. We're really proud of it, and it you can buy all of it at amazon.com slash mythical, and you know, we're all thinking about gifting, you know. You gotta start thinking about gifting. Um, the mythical clay pomade, I use this every morning on my hair. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you, I love this stuff. I'm, why am I opening it now? I don't know, just smell it. Just to smell it, because I love the smell. It's like, it's subtle, and that's not, but it's it's fierce but flexible. I can't even get the daggum top back on. Uh, and the regular there's pomade, an original pomade. The which original is, pomade we used for a long time. I, when my hair was mighty shorter, but malleable. I use it, it all the time. And then we've got um, we've got the beard balm here. I use that. And then we've got an amazingly high quality brush that you can get. And we got the comb. It's a nice detangling brush. That is yes. You read it right. It is musical. You can get is, the, is you can there get beard this, oil in there? The beard oil is not in this, oh, and I, and this is I for sale I, too. I think the, I stole it. The, and the chapsticks. The chapsticks. Yeah. The the end part was good. Peanut butter peppermint, best lip balm you'll ever taste. And people who haven't had it will be intrigued when you gift it to them, and then they'll be telling you how good it is. I promise. Also, cereal milk. We don't talk about it enough. Listen, it's good stuff. A comb that plays a theme song, in and of itself, is something you could talk about for a really long time. And it's just one thing in this, uh, uh, one thing among many. That's it's Ruth also Rachel is still many. watching right now. <laughs> yeah, Rachel, right about that. McDonald's play places became so popular that in the 90s, they branched them out into standalone versions of the indoor playgrounds called Leaps and Bounds. What? I don't understand. They just made them... Well, it was just a playground. Basic, yeah, but with no food. Yeah, but it's, it indoor. was a precursor to um, like all of those bounce places and like all, all the play places that people take their kids. And there's no, f- there's food there, but it's not about the food. You think it's fake? Well, you made it seem real as you talked about it. <laughs> but I'm going to stick with my answer. No, I think it's fake too. I was trying to fool you. Um, I think that they actually did the opposite. Like, um, they took away the ball pit. One ball at a time, that's the weird thing. Too much urine. Did you know that? Not enough play. They did one ball a week so no one would No one noticed. And no one ever talked about it because of that. For a while there, for three weeks, there were three balls. It was brilliant. Three weeks ago, there were three balls, then two balls, then one ball. And then when there was no balls, it was just a pit. The only thing I remember about the play place as a child is I remember going into a slide and it smelled like dirty diaper and oh, I gosh. went to my mom and I said it, it smells like dirty diaper and that's the last time I have ever been in because it was the tunnel slide oh, yeah. yeah yeah oh yeah man and, it, and the heat from the sun just baked that diaper turd oh something slipped out man when they were sliding down you know that was true dang yeah, this is fake it's real. What? Oh, wow. Parents could pay four ninety five to get their kid unlimited access to the indoor sculpted playground, but by nineteen ninety four they had merged with Discovery Zone. Discovery Zone, they did a thing for a while. What? That is wild. 
Beyonce has a golden card that grants her free McDonald's for life. Wow. Wow. I don't want to brag, but I might have a Chipotle card. What are they called? A burrito card. I might have one as well. I do have one. But it's not for life, it's just for- It's for one year. It's just for one year. I've been using the heck out of that thing. Been using the heck out of it. Not for life. Why would Beyonce- Brittany is back here freaking out. What's it called, Brittany? you burrito ca- cards. <laughs> I'll give it to you after uh, six months from now. <laughs> do you know that one of the things it says on the card is it says, also good for one catered event up to 50 people. Yeah, just for free. You can just do it once a year. Fifty people. Thirty in here. Yeah, we're... and we got two cards. Something to think about. Mm. Yep. Two two thirds of our employees can eat with us one day, and uh, it's not going to be randomly selected. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> They're going to fight. We're going to fight till there's a hundred people. <laughs> the hundred people that can make it. Yeah. Everybody else get, has to stand on the outside and get a dollop of original pomade. Beyonce. Well, that, that's cool. I think I it's said, true. I think it's true. It's I just don't think. Because if you're going to give a gold card to some you're the wrong somebody, one. let it be Beyonce. You know what I mean? Let it be. I very much agree. Unfortunately, it's fake. And... It's sad news here, I think, because they do have a gold card and Bill Gates, Mitt Romney, Warren Buffett, and Rob Lowe are oh, you gotta all be a set white to dude. have yeah, one. You gotta be a white guy, that's right. Or like some of the richest people on the planet. You know Bill Gates is using that thing all the time. That's so strange. I mean, I use that Chipotle card. I think we got it. I actually don't know why we got it, but I mean, we're fans of Chipotle and it was like one of the episodes of uh, our Food Network show, Inside Eats, and I don't know if we got it related to that. They also won a Food Feuds. <laughs> it might've just been that. So maybe that was it. We don't know exactly why we got it. It's maybe just, that was uh, the, be- the closest we've ever gotten to a it sponsorship. If I had it on me, I would show it oh, to you. I'd, oh, no, it's in the dressing room. The late Queen Elizabeth actually owned a drive through McDonald's. The That's late true. Queen Elizabeth. She did. She was a big fan of uh, why, the, why? You know what? You know why she machine. does? It's because it was on it's on the palace grounds. So, so she technically like, has to own it. Right, right. But she likes to operate it. It's with, in their food court. She liked to operate it with her white glove. <laughs> She would she would grab it with her white glove and she would pull on the ice cream thing and if it, she oh. got, and if she got a little ice cream on her white glove, whoopsie, no one would notice. That's why she wore white gloves. A lot of people don't know this. Frost they, they were frosty colored. Yeah, frosty. It's not Wendy's. Mm, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ice it cream. is true. She bought a shopping center near Windsor Castle for. 92 million pounds, Holy. or roughly 98 million dollars, and the McDonald's was one of the properties it contained. The I mean, queen what? owned them all. What? Yep, she did. McDonald's. Y'all, y'all hear that helicopter? Yeah. She's flying in. She's coming in. I think Chipotle heard us talking mm, about sorry. what we were going to do. McDonald's Land also expanded into a direct-to-video series from the creators of the Rugrats called The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Uh, I think this I remember feels this. true. I feel like this I... This feels like 80s. I feel like I remember it as well. Um, Do you remember this intro? Should be trying me and you. A new day's here and fun is overdue. Pee Wee Herman, much? <laughs> he had a hamburger bed with multiple comforters. 
of every of every topping for yeah, a burger. This may, I do not remember this. It it makes me uncomfortable. Of course, what Ronald McDonald featured thing doesn't make you uncomfortable, Link? But who's comforted by Ronald McDonald? I think uh, is a better question. Yeah, it's it makes. It, I mean, it's it's also like the Grinch, the movie. But maybe that was after where it was all the Rube Goldberg stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't remember this. I thought it was animated. He sleeps in gloves. And clown face. 1998. 1998? Is there pictures of Ronald McDonald without the, the, the clown makeup? Like the guy who played him in the commercials? Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. That's, are we ready for this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're doing some searching. Oh, it's going to be like a We're going to look at it. We're going to decide if we want to show it to you. What? We missed this. You're not oh. listening? The, the Come Ronald on, guys. McDonald without makeup. It ain't over. <laughs> Ronald McDonald without makeup. I just assumed it wasn't the same. There's oh, you an think actor. it's like Blue Man Group? Yeah. Well, yeah. one of the originals was Willard um, Scott from, remember him did the weather? No, Good but there's American. one guy that like you think, like the actor guy, the actor from the, like just Google it if you would. I'm I'm okay that you weren't listening, but. Squire, Squire Friedel. Who would that be? King Moody. George, is this Capernaum. is this not on? Morgan, help us out here. Oh, King Moon. Oh, so it was working. Oh, it was just, okay. It was just okay. You so. There's a bunch of different ones. Who was I googling? Said, I told Chappie, you. were you I googling? No, we were. Brittany, you were googling. Yeah. And we were looking at the cast of the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Oh, we Who? weren't looking at anything. Oh. So you guys were hard at work listening. Yeah, and here we and go. And here, here I was ridiculing go. you for not here listening, and it was yeah. just the mon man, boy, I just, I just, oh, there I just he got is. egg all over my face. There he is. Oh. Well. Squire Friedel. Squire Friedel. There's a good strong jaw on that guy. That was 85 to 91. That's prime. That's the guy. That's prime Ronald. That is him. Jack right. Dopey was Friedel. 91 to 99. Let's see Jack. Let's see that guy. Wow. Can we get all these guys together? What? Yeah. So this is the next. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at him. So Jack Dupke, he's a little. He looks like a Dupke. Scarier. Oh, yeah. well what happened to him? But Squire, Squire's nice. That. that I would only Google Squire and not Jack Dilpke. Oh, he fell out of hard times. Once he took the makeup off. All right, let's see. Let's hear the next one. In the 80s and 90s, McDonald's commercials featured a group called the Fry Kids. Oh, yeah. One of which was played by a young Matt Damon. Well, I remember the Fry Kids, but. Young Matt Damon. They, uh, they were all inside French fry boxes. I don't think we would have wasted Matt Damon's talent on that. No, I think this is true. That's fake. Oh, next one. We're, that's, we're, we're done. We're, next we're, one. We're, You're plumb out. I can't get enough. Unleash your legendary style with our line of mythical grooming and personal care products at Amazon.com slash mythical.